This is Jeremiah 9 and verse 6. Thine habitation is in the midst of deceit. Through deceit they refuse to know me, saith the Lord. Kal halal Yahweh ba Hashem Yahweh Shai ba Hashem Rekwar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutations to the brothers on down teaching, preaching, pushing this gospel. Good news to four corners of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect of Israel. Greetings also to the few sisters that tune in to these video epistles. I've called this lesson Order. Court is in session. That's right. There's a man in rulership who hates order. It's the so called white man in the scriptures, the Edomite. We won't stop talking about this man and exposing him. He's been hiding for decades, centuries, and now the veil has been removed and we see all of his wicked deeds, but he seemed to be, he's crying out, and oh no, it's, it wasn't me. But the evidence is piling up. And so what we want to keep doing is exposing this liar, murderer, thief, slanderer. That's all he's spent his time doing. That's his role in the Most High's movie. That's our power. He created heaven and earth. His name is Yahweh, meaning he is the existing one. He to be his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. He is a redeemer, savior, high priest mediator in the heavens that's our power we are the true hebrew israelites currently going by these by words that we've been given negroes latinos native americans so we want to have a look at some of the evidence it's really right throughout the scriptures but we've just picked out some here a bunch of precepts let's see if we can get through them where is it going to go first there's so many it's confusing let's try let's go to Job let's see what Job 15 34 and 35 because we don't want to make false accusations we want to look at intent and evidence and what was the, the frame of mind of this person the accused because the two witnesses the main two witnesses, that's the southern and northern kingdom, the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who we are. We trace our lineage back to our patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are the 12 tribes of Yasharala. He prints with the power. That's who we are. Don't stop saying it. Right, where are we going to go? Job 15. 34 for the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery they conceive mischief and bring forth vanity and their belly prepareth deceit see we're looking for this man the right honorable lord yahawashai is residing he's the one sitting in the seat and we ask in the defendant, how do you plead? And well, he's a liar. It's only one thing he's going to say. He saw Edom, the so-called white man. He's going to say, he's not guilty. See? Because we know he's a liar. How do we know this? It's in the scriptures. Let's look at one place where he, he blatantly committed <clears throat> an offense. And then he lied saying he knows nothing about it. Genesis 4 and 8. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. See? And when he was asked, where is, let's read. And the Lord said unto Cain, where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? So what? one verse after the other. First he killed him. He murdered his brother. And then he lied. You see? And we know he was fully aware of the laws of retribution for example because later on he said when he was given his punishment he knows that he is guilty Cain said unto the Lord verse 13 my punishment is greater than I can bear so he's fully aware 
of the laws. He can't plead ignorance of the law. But he can't take instruction and he hates order. That's Psalms <clears throat> 50, uh, I think 15 and 16. So he's a liar. We're going to keep going with our evidence here. Let's not make any false accusations. Let's go. What about Joel? Is that where we're going to go next? Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way thereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. And no man shall buy you. So this is speaking to the Hebrew Israelites. But who was it that was receiving them? Who was who owned all these ships? And who was receiving these men and holding them men and women as slaves? Is it do you have any evidence of that? Well, in Joel three. Joel three and six. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians. So this is the southern and northern kingdom that's been sold unto the Edomites. So he saw Edom who was receiving these slaves that ye might remove them far from their border. You see that? So we're looking at the evidence of here. And what does the scripture say about if you get caught doing this? Is there any law about that in this book? The oracles of the Most High. Exodus 21 and 16. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. A court is in session. He's jumping up and down, making people apologize for statements that they make. But it can't change what is written in the book. Not one word shall go void. We are next. So that's kidnap. No, and so we're looking at intent. Genesis 27. This was the intent of this criminal. He's already shown that he is a murderer. Genesis 27 and verse 41. Yes, and Esau hated Jacob, Esau Edom. Let's, let's be clear on who we're speaking about here. Let's just quickly turn the page and go to Genesis 36. Now these are the generations of Esau who is Edom. Verse eight says, thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. So it's the Edomites, the so-called white man. He keeps changing up his identity, running away, don't want you to know who he is. But we're looking at his crimes here. This is Genesis 27, and this is his intent. Remember, in the reincarnation, he's, he previously killed his brother. In Genesis 4 and 8, we just read that. So this is the they're coming back in the reincarnation, if you can receive it. Cain and Abel, Jacob and Esau. Verse 41, Genesis 27. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. So this is intent. That's what makes it murder. You see, you intended to kill Sirach 12. Verse 11 and 12, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass 
and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. He's trying to pretend he's your friend. You can just take this, this potion. Remember it, how he came to Eve. Just do this. Don't worry about the laws, statutes, and commandments that was given to you. I've got another way, a better way. So now the <clears throat> the looking glass has been wiped, and we see him clearly. Who is this man? Everyone's on various social medias they're looking at all the evidence. Who owned all those slave ships? What's going on? Who is you said you're this, and not somebody else is saying no, it's not you, it's me. So if I'm the people, we're the people. Who are those imposters, liars? See. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. If looking glass has been wiped, it's clean. We can see clearly. And thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Look, that's exactly what's going on. He's gone into our land. A land that the Most High loves is his favorite. And what has he done? He's taken our place. You see, calling himself, he's converted from the, I think it's the 1860s. And that's when he started to call himself, us put himself in our stead. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And look at this. And thou at the last, Remember my words and be pricked therewith. Look, look, prick, look at this word. You think he's there by mistake? Look at what this man is about to do. He's introduced his under the skin technology. You need to be pricked or else you won't be able to join in his wicked enterprise. You see? So we see this man being laid bare. His lies, his deceit <clears throat> the looking glass has been wiped and the rust is still there the rust of his lies and his murderous intent let's keep going here this is incredible let's go back to we're going to go back to Joel I think Joel 3 this time 19 and 20 Egypt shall be a desolation. Egypt synonymous with our bondage. So, and Edom, Esau, Edom, remember who we're speaking of. It's the white man. That's what he wants you to call him. He's a murderer, liar. He's a plunderer. He takes everybody's stuff. He's a rapist. All of the wickedness in the earth, he's responsible. Edom shall be a desolation. Will desolate wilderness. Why? For the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever in Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. We see the mounting evidence against this man. Where were we going to go next? It's all too much. Isaiah. Isaiah 14. Let's read first one at uh, first verse here at six. He who smote the people with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger, he persecuted and none hindereth. It's like he hates everything, he hates everybody, even himself. Verse 17. This whole chapter here is another power pack chapter here, Isaiah 14. 17 that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners verse 21 what are you going to get for this attitude prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities for i will rise up against them said the lord yahweh of hosts and cut off from Babylon, as America, Babylon the Great. The name and remnant and son and nephew, said the Lord. That's his whole seed line is going to be removed from the earth. I will also make it a possession for the bitter and pools of water. And I will sweep it with the besom of destruction. That word besom, it's a sweeping action. You've seen the movies. It's going to be totally destroyed. One hour, 
Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is sending his angelic army to destroy this man's inhabitants, his habitation, said the Lord of hosts. Where next? Let's get back to Job. Job 18, starting at 9. The jinn shall take him by the heel, and the rubber shall prevail against him. Remember when the twins were born, Jacob was holding the heel of this man. The snare is laid for him in the ground, and a trap for him in the way. Terror shall make him afraid on every side, and shall drive him to his feet. His trench shall be hunger bitten, and destruction shall be ready at his side. It shall devour the strength of his skin, even the first Born of death, who's that? Yahweh Shai shall devour his strength. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. It shall dwell in his tabernacle because it is none of his. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. His root shall be dried up beneath, and above shall his branch be cut off. His remembrance shall perish from the earth, and he shall have no name in the street. He shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world for your wickedness. Court is in session. He saw Edom, a white man, a looking glass, been wiped clean. We can see you. We know who you are. It doesn't matter how much you get me to apologize. It's not going to change what is written in the oracles of the Most High. Our oh, power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. He shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwellings. They that come after him shall be as tony that is they. And they went, were affrighted. So all those people who was afraid of him. Right now there's people jumping up and down trying to defend this man. They're so afraid. They can lose this and lose that. Such, surely, such are the dwellings of the wicked. And this is the place of him that knoweth not the heavenly father. See, I just get so excited when I'm reading these scriptures. Jeremiah 3. Let's go back where we started here. Jeremiah 9, starting at 3, I should say. They bend their tongues like their bow for lies. But they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth. For they proceed from evil to evil, and they know not me, said the Lord. Take ye heed every one of his neighbor, and trust ye not in any brother. For every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk with slanders. And they will deceive every one his neighbor, and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies, and wear themselves to commit iniquity. Thine habitation is in the midst of deceit. Through deceit they refuse to know me, said the Lord. Therefore, thus said the hour of hosts, behold, I will melt them and try them. For how shall I do for the daughter of my people? Their tongue is, a, is as an arrow shot out. It speaketh deceit. One speaketh peaceably to his neighbor with his mouth, but in his heart he layeth his weight. Shall I not visit them for these things, saith the Lord Yahweh? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Surely it will. See, where was we going to go to next? Let's go and read Revelation 13, 9 and 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. See this man's name, Cain, it's a quayan, it's a dagger, a stabbing instrument. He came back, he was given a sword as his blessing. See it all fits together once the looking glass has been rubbed away and you see that there's no rust there. It's the same guy, the same spirit. We read before, he was the one, it's, it's his name on the receipts. Receiving the bondmen and bondwomen, spoken about in Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And in Joel 3, it's the same guy, it's the same nation. 
He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Who are the saints? It's the Hebrew Israelites. That's Psalm 78 and 5, Psalms 50 and 5, and also Psalms 148 and 149. Let's just finish up here with Obadiah 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau a stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. All praises to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh. His only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. We know the names. We don't mess with those names. See, he hates order. But court is in session. We can see all of your, your wicked deeds. You're a murderer, a slanderer, a liar, a deceiver. Adverse to truth and righteousness. So video after video is coming out with all of your wickedness that you've been performing in the earth, and you're about to be visited. We just want you to hurry up with what is next. The Matic marketing strategy is going forward. We can see what's happening. We know the deal. So I won't stretch the lesson beyond where it needs to be. We've been listening to order. Court is in session. Shalom until the next one.